Hello guys and welcome to another log of Forest Guardian BE Memory and for today's log we have I think it's pronounced EOS Mon <laughs> uh, Perfect Stage But anyway, before we continue with today's log just like to say if you're a fan of Digimon or raising virtual pets you've come to the right channel because this channel focuses on raising Digimon and I upload at least twice a week so if you like such content, go ahead and fly around the like and subscribe button with EOS Mon that's at the ultimate stage and turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of my uploads. Alright, let's get down to today's log. We have EOS Mon. Uh, EOS Mon is actually from the Digimon Adventure Tri movie last uh Last Connections, I think. Yeah, but anyway, it's just called EOS Mon for simplicity. And uh, as usual, let's look at its profile. Let's look at its profile in the codex. Uh, but yeah, it's from the um, Last. Is it called Last Connections? But basically, the Digimon. Uh, the last Kizuna, so basically the the one about the last born, the, the last Digimon movie, and uh, in the Digimon Adventure movie, uh, EOS Mon is spoiler alert one of the main nemesis and the main uh, bad characters, uh, form, sorry, the, there's a bad Digimon that they had to fight and the Digimon's uh. The Digimon is called EOS Mon, and this is the ultimate stage equivalent of EOS Mon because EOS Mon can evolve from adult, ultimate, and mega. Uh, and in these three forms, these three forms is all called EOS Mon. And I didn't know because I haven't really watched that movie, and uh, yeah, shame on me, right? <laughs> At the time, and EOS Mon actually evolved from Morphomon so honestly it's like a um, kind of a it, I think the fans voted it deliberately uh, but I don't know why would would I Kudiemon was there uh, in their votes in their decision to vote but I think it's quite canon in a sense that Morphomon evolves to EOS Mon eventually because that's uh, was uh, EOS Mon's original uh, rookie form anyway its profile it's a digivolved form taken by a champion EOS Mon, like I mentioned, when it encountered an obstruction while carrying out its mission. EOS Mon Ultimate Level deploys even more transparent panels, gaining large wings for high speed movement and large hands for powerful attacks. It can also create illusions that act as mirrors to deceive its enemies. EOS Mon Ultimate can also rearrange its transparent panels to transform into beast mode and attack its foes. It uses its special move Beat Press to crush enemies with gigantic hands, Hexa Thunder to fire electricity from its antenna, and Cutting Edge to throw panel shaped energy from its hands, slicing through its opponent. Wow, okay, cutting edge looks deadly. Anyway, uh, this is EOS Mon's profile. Let's take a closer look at his sprite, shall we? See you on the bracelet, EOS Mon. All right, and here we have EOS Mon on the bracelet. I think it looks sprite looks amazing. But yeah, I realized that the earlier part of the log, I forgot to talk about etymology and origin of its name. Apparently, according to Wikimon, EOS is referencing to a Greek mythology figure, EOS, which uh, represents the goddess of dawn, something like that. So yeah, that's why it's called EOS Mon, at least according to Wikimon. Let's see the walking animation. That's EOS Mon's walking animation. Oh, I think it looks great. Okay, it looks so different from the idol animation. It's so nice to see the effort that they put in for walking. Yeah, look at the walking animation. I think that's how it walks in the, this uh, ultimate form. 
in the movie as well. But yeah, can you see the difference there? Eh? That was really well done. Really like it. Uh, let's see the sleeping animation. This is a sleeping animation. I mean, it's obvious. Sleeping animation is always obvious because it's like, you know, it's sleeping. But yeah, that walking animation was so surprising for me. Uh, let's see the punch animation. Uh, that should be quite different, but that's that's a given. You know, it, it, I mean, they have to make sure that it looks like it's punching. Uh, it's using its uh, limbs to lift weights. That's a dead lift, I guess. It's a dead lift. Uh, and then let's see the dash animation. Dash animation. Uh, it's flying. Of course, it's flying. It's based, still based pretty much on a butterfly, based on Morphomon actually. Yeah. So cool. This is a uh, flying animation. All right. Uh, dash animation. <laughs> so. Uh, let, uh, you can't take on Tento more. You need to take on something harder. I know because I've been looking at US mods battles. I think it fires his finishing attack on around the third round. So we need a stronger opponent like uh, Lila Mon is a good choice actually. Let's try Lila Mon and see how it goes. Boom. Yep. Okay. Oh, Lila one fires his finishing move but misses. And then we fire on the third round. There we go. This is his finishing move. Boom. I think that's cutting edge. Now that we read the profile and we know that is cutting edge. And very well done, EOS Mon. Turning the tide of the battle at the very last minute. And taking home the win and that's it for today's log if you haven't already please go ahead and slice the like and subscribe button with eos mods cutting edge and turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of my uploads thank you for watching and see you in the next video bye bye